Hi guys, today we want to share with you five pros and cons of the toy poodle to help you make a decision on whether the poodle is the right breed for you. Actually, the first reason why you should get a poodle you can already see and you know from my videos, it's our super cute look. Everyone who knows me, they love how I look, they love the little teddy bear look and I always get approached by people on the street that want to pet me, that want to greet me and that just like ask what kind of breed I am because they want to get one themselves. And it's not just our looks that we offer, we are also super intelligent. Poodles are such a smart breed. They love to learn new tricks. They learn new tricks super, super fast. You can go with them to dog school or do dog sports such as agility. And it's so much fun to work with them because they understand things so quickly. I always learn so fast and my parents are always so proud of me. The third reason is that poodles do not shed. They don't lose any fur at all, which is super nice if you keep them at home in the flat. So my parents don't have to clean after me. And it's just so easy because I get brushed a couple times a week and then my fur always looks great and it's not flying around the flat. The fourth reason is that we have such a nice character. We're actually super friendly and are great with families and also small children and we're such a loyal dog. So the poodle is perfect for families and for couples who maybe want to get children one day but are not sure about that yet or also just like an office dog that you need to take to the office because we're friendly with everyone. The fifth reason is the size of the poodle, especially the toy poodle and the miniature poodle. They're so small that basically you can take them everywhere. They can fly with you on the plane like I do with my parents. Or also you can take them to restaurants and we can just like lie and sleep under the table and nobody's really bothered by us. Or also you can like easily pick them up because our weight isn't too much and if you follow me, then you know that I'm actually a big poodle or like a bigger poodle. I'm supposed to be a toy poodle, but I got more like miniature size. So I'm like 35 centimeters tall. So I did get a little bit bigger, but I'm still a good size to go on the plane and also follow my parents everywhere. As you've seen, we have lots and lots of pros and I think my parents could already share more with you, but we just like limit ourselves to five for this video. So now we want to share five cons with you. The first thing that we've talked so much about also on this channel is that I have lots of separation anxiety. It's very hard for me to stay alone in a room and to stay alone at home. Um, check out this video that we've recently made if you're interested in that and, and if you're interested in seeing our progress. So that's something you definitely have to consider that you need to train your poodle to lose a little bit of his separation anxiety. And my parents are really working on that with me that I'll be able to stay home for like an hour or two alone in the future just so that, that they can go grocery shopping or to the gym together. And we're working on that. The second thing is that we are very, very sensitive and that's something that my parents have noticed straight from the beginning. I'm not really shy, but I'm just like a sensitive being and I feel like lots of poodles are. So that's why good bringing up, good raising a poodle is so important and it makes a whole lot of difference if you take that into consideration. The third thing is, and it has something to do with our looks, because everybody loves our fur, but it's so much work. Actually, my parents definitely didn't anticipate that it's so much work. When I had my puppy fur, they used to brush me daily. And even now that I'm grown older and I have my regular poodle fur, it's still so much work because they need to groom me so often because they like it when it's a little bit shorter. So actually right now they groom it about like every every month. So every four to five weeks. And then they need to cut the fur around my eyes and underneath my paws. And it's just like lots of work. So that's something you need to think about when you get a poodle. The fourth thing is that we are very 
tiny and we're very delicate so actually you say the smaller the dog the more likely it is that it gets infections that it gets any diseases that it gets sick so that's why my parents are kind of happy that i turned out a little bit bigger and also of course when you live in a big city and you're out with your dog in like the city center and you'd have a very very tiny toy poodle who is like 25 centimeters and maybe like two to two and a half kilograms people can overlook it and it's like something you need to consider depending on where you live and also if I play with other dogs my parents always make sure that I only play with dogs roughly the same size roughly the same weight so that I don't get hurt if someone runs over me and last but not least the last con kind of is that we are very very high energy especially when we're young and I always want to play around I can't really rest on my own And that's something, especially within the first year, that poodles have a high energy level and you really need to take good care of them so that they're stimulated mentally, but also physically, but also that they get to take some rest because me as a poodle, I would never take some rest myself. So my parents need to take care of them. But that also gets better once we turn like one year old or so. And it's also just like being a puppy. These were our five pros and cons about the poodle. Drop me a comment if you see anything else. I mean, there are lots of pros, of course, some cons maybe. And if you're interested in more poodle content, definitely subscribe to my channel and also watch my other videos because we're uploading videos weekly. And then we'll see each other in the next one.